going on guys Monty King here today we're gonna to be checking out whether or not um, Digibyte was even profitable so let's get right into it all right so yesterday I did a, um, a test I guess you can say or I'm not sure how you want to word it but we were doing a test essentially right with my <laughs> s19k we wanted to see how much Digibyte we could actually mine in a 24-hour period it's been about 22 hours, but we can kind of draw the conclusion, right? And we can figure out the average of what we're kind of missing. Um, it looks like what to mine was pretty accurate. Um, so let's go ahead and let's figure out, is this profitable to mine right now? Or or am I running at a loss, right? So let's go ahead and let's pull up my, my pool information and let's do all that stuff because we got to figure out how much we've actually made. This is Ampool. It's a pool that I've used before in the past and it had Digibyte. So I was just kind of looking for a pool that I already had an account to that I could use, right? So I didn't have to like make up a whole new, you know, password, you know, login. I already get, everyone gets tons of junk emails. You know what I mean? So I just didn't want to set something else up. So, uh, Anyways, we are here and you can see that it's it's 10 minute average now is about 112. It's been going this is on a 115 uh S19K. Um so it's been going up to like 120, it's been going down to 100, it's been going up and down, right? This is kind of like normal ASIC behavior. Right now we're roughly at about 600 digibyte, but you can see here we started at the at 1400 hours and we're only at 1200 hours right here so we're missing a little bit of the rewards um not a lot um we're missing about two hours of mining so i mean if you did 600 if we did 600 divided by 22 hours mm -hmm. it would kind of tell us what we made per hour so if we did 600 divided by 22, um, we're roughly making 27 an hour. So we'll add another 54 to that. So it'll be 654 digibyte that I've mined in a 24 hour period, right? So let's, let's go ahead and let's head over to what to mine and let's see what they're actually saying that we should get from our ASIC, right? And I was at uh, a 115 and I will just say like 2,700 watts. Okay. And we're going to see what it tells us we should be getting. Right. So according to this, it says you should, it's pretty accurate right here. If you think about this, right? Like check this out. It says you should be getting about 650, 649 actual rewards. Right. And um, we got like about 654, so we're really, really close, okay? But Bitcoin mining right now, because of all the fees and everything right now, it is still way more profitable to mine the S19K over on Bitcoin, right? Um, you can see some of these other networks like Bitcoin Cash and PureCoin, eCash, nice ash as well it's right now the most profitable thing to mine is going to be just mining native bitcoin um so i'll probably be throwing this back on my uh brains pool because that's that's where i was mining to before um but i wanted to do this test to see like how many coins we actually got so let's go ahead let's go ahead and let's head over to mining pool stats and let's see what the actual hash rate and difficulty is right now on Digibyte. Um, so let's go down to our SHA-256. And it looks like you can see here on the right hand side that there's been a significant um, difficulty increase um, from, what it, from where it used to be and it is going way up. Um, Right now, it looks like the network has 63.4 petahash, but there's 502 petahash of unknown hash rate, which is about 
So it's still sitting around that 10x hash rate right there. It's probably some large farm, I imagine, that's just mining on their own. Um, or it could be a pool that's just not on the list yet. So Bitcoin sitting about 670 exahash with a total network hash rate of about 780. And let's just see what this says that we should get with our S19K, right? It says at 115 terahashes. Now see, that's interesting. According to this calculator here by Minerstat, it says we should only be earning about $5.57 and a day. But I don't know if it's taking account like all the fees, right? So what to mine is saying, hey, you should be generating about $9.79 and $3.31 in profit, right? Now mine the ASIC, these calculators are gonna be really all over the place right now, guys. So it's, I, to me, there it's, I don't know which ones are gonna be the most accurate. I'm trying to figure that out but everything's kind of everywhere right now, which is making it very hard to actually figure out the profitability, right? So we'll say we're at 115 terahashes at 2,700 watts, okay? It's saying that Bitcoin is the most profitable, or that's if I'm mining Bitcoin right now, I'll make $3.96, right? So this and what to mine are pretty much the same. Um, and if we go down here to Digibyte, and let's do the Digibyte SHA, and we'll just say 115 again, 2,700 watts. Um, okay, interesting. This number is very off, right? This number's off. So don't, right now, I bet, I bet right now if you go to mine the ASIC, their calculator is gonna be off, okay? We'll just say we want Bitcoin miners only. And right now it's telling you to mine Digibyte, right? And it says right here that you should make 979 Digibyte a day. We already know that that is not correct, right? So their calculator is not is taking into effect the difficulty uh, increase in Digibyte, right? So um, because you can see from here that there's a difficulty spike on the right hand side, right? And then as well, you could see what I've actually gotten from Ant Pool in my rough, I'm only missing two hours, right? I'm not gonna make 300 and something odd, make half of my rewards in a two hour window, right? It's just not gonna happen, right? So, so buying the ASIC right now, as far as their Digibyte is completely off, their Bitcoin is close. Um, now what we could do is, is let's go ahead and let's go over to Brains to my actual pool where I mine most of my Bitcoin and let's see what each of these workers is actually truly generating. So what we need to do is, is I was trying to find a way to be able to see the individual rewards of each ASIC, but I'm not gonna be able to see that. Um, or if there is, I, I don't know, I don't know where to find it, so. Um, I try to find it by the workers, but all it does with the workers is just give you hash rate. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna take the total number of rewards I got the last day um, and, 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 and figure that out, right? So we're going to use this calculator really quick. And I know I'm not sharing my screen, but I'll tell you the number here in one second. So we're at, we're gonna say we're at uh, point zero zero. Two five nine zero nine two. Oops, zero nine two divided by twenty six machines because that's how many I own. And so each one produced this much. It's going to be point zero 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 nine nine six five zero seven six nine two three one Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and let's figure out what that actually is a day. Point zero 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 nine nine. Okay, so my pull yesterday, according to this, um, it's not looking good. With my hash rate, I generated a total of 
$172.25 worth of Bitcoin. And I... Each machine brought in approximately this amount here, which is going to be $6.62. So it is not looking good. The calculators are extremely off. They're saying that the fees are still up, and I don't think the calculators have actually caught up with everything, right? With all the fees and difficulties and things like that, right? Or it could be maybe my pool, right? I'm mining to Brains Pool. Um, they're 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 one of the top pools, right? They're not too low. Um, they're like yeah, they're number ten. So they have about thirteen eggs a hash. Um, I could move up into to a different pool, but the problem is, is if I did that, the problem I'm going to run into then is going to be I'll have to pay a firmware fee which is, you know, two and a half percent or, um, so I, I don't want to do that, which is why I go to, I go to brains pool. So, um, I could go to a different pool, but we may, I might have to see about that. So far it's been really, really good, um, over here at brains. Um, and so far it's looking like it's, it's not super great. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's saying right here at 115 terahash at 2700 watts, okay? And you can disregard what the electric rate is, right? I mean, sort of not like, you know, we'll just say we're at nine cents, right? Because that's what you're gonna pay when you have a lot of machines. It's like nine and a half cents. So right now, it's saying that I should be making point zero zero. 147 Bitcoin and I'm not based on my math yesterday I generated the other number point zero 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 nine nine six five one which is only six dollars and sixty two cents of Bitcoin which means that if I if that's true then that means that I've only <laughs> I've only made 80 cents off every single unit I have right so you got 26 units times, you know, 80 cents, 26 times, oh, I'm doing 80, need to do 0.8. There you go. It's like $20.80. Pretty bad, right? I mean, over 10 days, that's going to be like 208 bucks. Yeah, you're going to make like 600 bucks. So, I mean, you're still making money. You're not making great money. Um... But yeah, it's really looking really tough right now, guys. Sitting down here and breaking the math out, actually pulling out my rewards. Because uh, these are the rewards that I'm, I'm making each day from my farm. And you can see here that on the 20th, which is the day of the halving, or, you know, like, this is getting paid out from the previous day, right? But you can see that this day was a huge spike with all those fees and all the ordinals and all this other stuff, right? I made mean, like double what I usually make, right? I usually make about, you know, 0 0.00373938. 3, That's usually what I make every day, 38, right? Here I made like 67. Pretty good, right? I made like almost double the amount of what I usually make. Okay, well, the following day, I made 0 0.003. And, um, you know, e yet yesterday was really bad i made point i made point zero zero two five so you know moving forward this is going to get a little tough because technically if i'm in the point zero four point zero three nine range technically i should fall down if the rewards were cut in half to point zero zero two so um it is, it is getting tough out there a little bit to stay uh, profitable for us Bitcoin miners. Okay, so that's going to conclude today's, you know, or the 24-hour period test. Obviously, it's not very profitable to mine Digibyte. I think the calculators just quite haven't caught up yet. Um, 
and right now it's telling you Bitcoin. I think Digibyte might be maybe a hair more profitable. But the problem is then you're going to have to swap everything unless you want to hold the Digibyte, right? I would rather hold the Bitcoin, but if you want to, you know, mine Digibyte and then get into Bitcoin, you're going to have, you can use like swap space and swap it out and stuff like that. But then you're paying fees, you're paying to move it. I mean, at that point, I don't, I just don't think it's worth it at that point. I think this is too much extra work and I don't think you're going to make any more. Um, so anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, let me know what you guys are mining right now. What are your Bitcoin mining strategies? All right, this is Monica giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.